We're here with uh, Cameron and Adam. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? We'll start with uh, Cameron. Yeah, I, I'm Cameron. I'm one of the mathematicians here. Uh, worked here for, I have no idea, like four months, something like that. Yeah. Um, three why, months, why, months. why did you come here? Why did I come here? Yeah. Like, uh, what, what, our what, product's what? really cool. A lot of like freedom. It's the main thing, really. Cool. Cool product. Same, same to you, same questions. Uh, yes, my name's Adam. I'm also a mathematician here at Graphic Sketch, uh, working on the dev team. Been here just over a year, about 18 months now, actually. A year and what? A year and two months? A, a year. It's about 18 months. Oh, 18, 18. Yeah. 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 Uh, and why, why join you? What uh, you so I joined when it was quite a small company. It was only like seven or eight people. And uh, I was just excited by the project, where it could go. Um, I think I'll project this question to Adam. When did you like first, I guess, get privy to this whole idea around sub D, and then what made you kind of dive deeper into it? Because I remember at the time it was kind of like something we were spinning around the office between myself and Daniel. Yeah, so I think it, it's something we we talked about since I joined. Really, it's one of the most widely used modeling techniques, and uh, we always thought it would be cool if we could try it. Uh, and yeah, and then we got to the end of the Quest project in around early June and then suddenly I was free, I didn't have a project to do. I just sort of picked it up and run with it, run with it and see like it's taken us like six months to get this far. Cool. I remember when I first came to the office, you and Daniel were talking about it. and I was going for a coffee and Daniel was incredibly excited well, incredibly keen on it. Talked as if it was something you really wanted to do. So mm. Yeah, it's, it was always something we were gonna try I think. Mm. And uh, yeah just Freeing up the dev time for someone to have to have a good run at it. And, and when did it f formally kick off? Uh, it's hard to remember. I think uh, I think it was maybe that early July was mm. when we got when the first line of code was written. Ah, okay. And then, so, yeah, it's less than six months. Yeah, yeah I think it was. It, it you must have come in in June, yeah. yeah, and then pretty soon after we started. Yeah. Sick. And what was like the I guess the the first or the the key thing that was like the key challenge to jump on because it is it's almost like the exact I wouldn't say opposite but it's it's completely different than NURBS I remember the first thing the first thing I did was I was aiming to get to get a simple cube uh, where you could grab the points the faces and the edges and move them around and try and fit that in with the current way we have of editing objects in gravity sketch so you have the drawing of the lines but then you can also go into edit mode and move the points around so it's like if I can get that going, then maybe we can see how the UX fits with the UX of, of NURBS, and then maybe we can run, we can go from that. Mm. I think. And would you say that's like the good starting point now that retro retrospectively, yeah, yeah. or would you start somewhere else? I think once we got that going, we can we could see that actually this is not really so different, mm. and then we start to believe we can make something else of it. I think. And for you, Cameron, on like when, how did you actually learn about sub D beyond just like us talking about it, like? What was the, uh, like there's a whole bunch of books that we got obviously when you joined for NURBS. Yeah. Like, what was the learning material for you to sub D that kind of opened your eyes to? To be honest, it was quite, obviously it wasn't books, but uh, I remember reading the papers by uh, Campbell and Clark, who were the people at Pixar, who like, invented sub D modeling. And that was the most useful for me. And reading a lot of, uh, looked at the code that Pixar put online for their like subdivision tools. And because I was focusing more on like the algorithmic side than the UX side, that was like really, really helpful for me. Um, but there, there are like different implementations online, and for me, it was like a really interesting like mathematical problem. Mm -hmm. So yeah, learning about subtly for me, at least in the beginning, was like reading a lot of papers, drawing a lot of diagrams, like lots and lots of diagrams. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And for you, Adam, like where would you, from the mathematics standpoint, where would you tell someone to go and look or to at least get started if they were going to kick off like, with the math required to actually do this from the ground up? Well, I, I, think, it's, um, I think it's amazing how many different areas of maths are actually involved in, in the, the full product. Obviously, you have the, the, subdu the subdivision algorithm for turning a low poly mesh into a smooth shape. Mm -hmm. But also there's things around like when you're grabbing things, uh, selecting different parts of the model involves a lot of graph theory and like, you know, which face is connected to which other face and which edges create a loop around the object. Uh, yeah, I think it's been, like we both like maths and I think it's been fun to explore those things. Mm. So yeah, graph theory was, was one that cropped up quite a lot. 
So for this, um, I'm going a little bit off script here, but for this particular project, it required a lot of UX. So you mentioned a little bit about like respecting the existing Gravity Sketch UX, but there's also a boatload of stuff that I personally found that I was kind of quite surprised, like stuff that we had never seen before. So how did you guys actually go about this? Because this seems to be stuff that you weren't kind of privy to prior to, to working on this project. What kind of stuff do you mean? Well, like we have, for example, example, we have like cutting, we have soft selection, um, we have like the smoothing. I mean, these are all like kind of new UX philosophies that we haven't had in Gravity Sketch prior to, to this this update. Which, in this, I mean, it's a great thing. It's just like it's a lot to pack in in such a short period of time. So like you guys had to ramp up quite, I would imagine, quite fast on the UX side of things. I think that a lot of it came actually from talking to people who were going to use it. So Glenn, for mm -hmm. instance. And a lot of some of the tools, at least some of the tools we created, were because of like deficiencies he found in like the existing like functionality. So the cutting tool basically came about because of our original edge loop tool. Right. Um, initially, you could only create like a full edge loop, and Glenn didn't want to do this. So you created the cut tool, and then I had to do math to like allow our like subdivision algorithm to allow like triangles and angles. So, from my perspective at least, a lot of the UX came about because of like necessity rather than us kind of thinking, oh, what would be cool? Because mm. for me at least, I'm not a modeler, I would never come up. I would come up with like cool UX, but not actually like useful UX. And uh, I think having someone to talk to, they don't really Yeah, yeah, Glenn, Glenn was that's really a helpful. resource for yeah. us, yeah. I think the, the key point was when we realised we'd run out of buttons on the controller. <laughs> so we'd use all the buttons, all the grabbers, everything. So then we're like, okay, how do we let people do other things? Maybe, you know, you can grab some kind of tool and use that. And we already have some kind of tool stuff in the app already. I don't know if it's been released yet. I think it's just on the private beta. Yeah. But we sort of borrowed some ideas from that, used some of the code. Yeah, yeah and then we have this now tool shelf idea where you grab your tool and it can do different things in different contexts. Mm. Mm. And do you think it makes you guys more valuable or more productive to have this kind of peek into the UX side of, of the company or the UX side of... The development process yeah i think like especially in a small company like gravity sketch siloing is like one of the worst things that can happen and i think i at least have like a greater appreciation for some of the stuff lou works on uh, as a result of this and actually uh Kayla and sergi as well have been really useful in helping us understand like how users will actually want to use it mm. so yeah I think it's been like a really valuable experience awesome and so I guess like you guys mentioned a lot about modeling and how you know running on buttons because of so many things that <laughs> features requests. Like what I guess, respectively to you, what you guys are working on, what is the f like the next stage for this uh, with Gravity Sketch? I mean, we obviously don't view it as a modeling software, but now modeling seems like it's very achievable. Where are we going to go next with sub D from your guys? What do we next? Like, like as in the feature set? Or? In, in terms of the feature set, in terms of what we're going to add, in terms of where you think it's going to go, how do we stay true to our, our company values? Um, you know, what 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 is your guys' take on this? I, I'm I'm personally curious to to this extent as well. Well, I think in terms of what we're going to build next from it, we're just going to listen to the feedback that we get from the beta and from the main release, and like mm -hmm. whatever whatever the heavy users want, we'll we'll look and see if that's possible and yeah, just try to please the people using it. In terms of where it fits within Gravity Sketch, it, it has the potential to build that into a, a tool that's not really sketching, I'm sure they agree. So I don't know, I think we need to have a discussion about that and where it goes, but m maybe we have a modeling add-on, maybe it's a completely different app. Uh, it just depends, I guess, yeah. I think one of the concerns for us is around like, the difficulty of sub-D modeling, because it's very easy to get started and you know draw your polygons and extrude stuff blah 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 but it's also very easy to make like, bad geometry very easy to get stuck it's really easy to like get yourself in a, in a corner so i think we want to definitely try and add tools or maybe like settings that kind of restrict uh the user's ability to create bad stuff so sort of taking a little bit of freedom away from maybe less experienced users and giving that freedom back to more experienced more professional users mm. cool and I guess just to piggyback into the last question, it's kind of like what would what are you guys looking forward to working on the most, or what are the unsolved challenges, or the challenges that can be further improved upon that uh, you guys are looking forward to spending your time on? Uh, someone on the Discord was talking about 
simplify tool that would like take your existing sub D model and sort of simplify it or decimate it was the word I think they use and that sounds really cool to me. Mm. Yeah, that was sort of like if you bring in a heavy model. Yeah, like a really complicated OBJ. Yeah. And you want to have it as a sub D object, but you don't necessarily want all the fine detail or you want to be able to like recreate that yourself. Just sounds quite cool. What am I most excited about? Um, I don't know, just, just making, expanding on the tool set that we have, I think, and allowing people to, to create new and better things faster. Uh, what that means in terms of the tool set, we need to decide on. But I think I'm really excited of spending the next six months or so working on this. Awesome. Final, any shout outs you guys want to give? Any shout outs to the team? Your family? <laughs> <laughs> Team shout outs. All right, I'm gonna shout out. Uh, I'll shout out Sergi and uh, Kayla for putting in the work. <laughs> you already shouted them out earlier. Cool, thanks guys. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Shay. Yeah, nothing else, Tosh. That's great. Yeah, that's good.